Thank you, Ms. Georgieva, Mrs. Siteran, Mrs. French Gates, Mr. Nilekani, Mr. Schulman, ladies and gentlemen. It is really a great pleasure to join you in person at this year's annual meeting and to hear from so many thought leaders in technology, development, and finance. These are challenging times for the world economy, and people living in emerging markets are being hit particularly hard. Yet this seminar highlights a bargaining and a promising approach to make economies work better for everyone, offering vulnerable people a real opportunity to build a better life. Digital public infrastructure, or DPI like we now name it, is generally understood as interoperable, open, and inclusive systems supported by technology to provide essential public and private services in the public interest. Over the past decade, as UN Secretary General's Special Advocate, I have seen how inclusive DPIs can have a transformative impact on even the poorest households and businesses. Safe, transparent, and interoperable system for payment, identity, and data sharing have really empowered millions of small merchants, men and women, rural and urban. And today, they can easily open an account or receive and make any payments with their own mobile phones. Inclusive DPIs can catalyze digital contracts and e-commerce solutions. And this, ladies and gentlemen, creates more efficient and competitive markets and provides new opportunities to people that were le previously left behind. And it is not just in finance. They can also support, support health, think about education, think about sustainability. During the COVID pandemic, DPIs allowed welfare to be delivered directly to the digital wallets or those who need it most, and also supported the rollout of vaccines at unprecedented speeds. So, what does this look like in practice? India has shown one way with the Indian stack. It combines foundational digital ID, an interoperable payment system, a digital credentials ledger, an account aggregator to support empowerment and protection. And the results have been dramatic. India has achieved over 80% of financial inclusion in just six years, compared to the 46 years it would have taken without a DPI approach. So six years versus 46 years. Brazil, Peru, Singapore, and Estonia have also developed DPI models that bring together IDs, payments, and e-governance use cases with real clear results. Of course, DPIs will vary by country. Different contexts require different designs. But in the most successful cases, we do see some common features. The best DPIs are inclusive, interoperable, and support essential public and private services. They are also safe and trusted and ensure robust data protection. And by the way, the fact that you, know, you have DPIs, you have this public name into it, does not mean that the public sector can actually make it. Also, the private sector can do it, but it has a public interest. So please, let us share our experiences and learn from the best examples to spread the benefits even further. The G20, the IMF, the World Bank, the UN, and the Bank of International Set Settlements can help governments and central banks exchange knowledge. New global platforms, now the digital public ally good alliances, can bring more voices into the conversation. The World Bank and new emerging financing platforms like CoDevelop can also mobilize the finance needed to deploy and scale up essential infrastructure. In my role as honorary patron of the G20 Global Partnership for Financial Inclusion, I'm really delighted that we are crafting policy recommendations for DPI under the Indian presidency. By bringing the public and private sectors together around DPIs that are truly inclusive, we can make real progress on the sustainable development goals and in building increased resilience. We have so many people left out in our economies. And if digital will provide 
an opportunity. We will have to bring and build up the roads, the traffic lights, the traffic rules to actually make this work for the benefit of everyone. So please do pay attention to this. Thank you so much. Thank you.